So a little while ago, I made a craft room tour video where I showed you around my whole studio so you can see where I keep all my craft supplies and where I film my YouTube videos, and it was really fun. But some of you were asking for me to show a more in-depth look at my YouTube background and what's behind me when I'm filming. I have gone through a lot of very different backgrounds in my YouTube videos over the years. For a while, I filmed in dorm rooms, so I would put posters or photos up on my wall behind me. One year, I asked my audience to send me little pieces of art and I put them up on my wall in a big collage and it was so cool. I filmed in front of bookshelves. For the last couple of years, I've wanted to have my background be more of a reflection of my personality and my videos, and I wanted it to feel like a space I would actually hang out in. And that's because it is a space that I actually hang out in. This is where I work. This is where I do all my crafts and edit all my videos. And it's decorated this way because this is how I like to decorate. I wanted it to be crafty, and I put up a couple of photos. There's some function to it, like you can see my sewing machine back here, and I have all of my thread organized on the wall behind me, which is so helpful because I have a ton of colors and it would be a giant mess if I didn't have that thing. If you have a YouTube channel and you've been trying to figure out what to put in your background, I would say give a bunch of different things a try and see how you like it and see how people react to it. I noticed that when I had very recognizable things in the background, like movie posters or a bookshelf where you could actually see the spines and know what books I have, people would very often comment on those things and not on what I was talking about in the video. That was a little bit frustrating to me because I feel like they weren't listening and I felt like it was distracting to them. And every once in a while, someone will say, I really like your background or where did you get that thing that's in your background? And I prefer that. So I've tried to stick with this sort of background ever since I figured that out. Most importantly, it should reflect your personality and your brand and it should be something that you like. As you've probably noticed, I do have a bunch of things up on the wall behind me. So I'm gonna take you for a closer look at all of that. So I feel like the first thing you notice when you look in my YouTube background is this thread organizer. This is really important because it keeps all of my thread very organized, but it also serves as a kind of cool crafty decoration. I put them in sort of rainbow order just to make it look nice. I bought this at Joanne Fabrics, I believe, but a lot of craft stores have them and I just got the biggest one they had and I really like this. Ever since I started putting it in my YouTube background, I feel like it added a lot of personality and color to my wall and so I kept it. So another thing that I've been putting in my YouTube background a lot over the last few years are these hoops filled with plain fabric and I use them to kind of get some color and texture up on the walls. They're really just embroidery hoops and I stretched some fabrics in there that I really liked. Some of them have lace in them, some of them are just plain solid fabrics and I like them a lot. So this was a kind of recent addition but I bought these fairy lights. Oh my gosh, I haven't even turned them on. I should do that. There we go, much better. So many YouTubers use fairy lights in their backgrounds and I am one of them now. Um, I forget to turn them on a lot though, so uh, that's a thing. But these ones are on a wire and they came with these teeny little clothespins so I could hang up different pictures and other things that inspire me and make me happy in my video background, which I think is really fun. So over here, I have like a magazine clipping of some plushies that I really like. And then there's a picture of me with my sister. These teeny tiny little plushies were given to me by a fan and I think they're so cute. A photo of me with my baby and a photo of me with my sister and my friend Christina at VidCon. I thought this was really cool. This is a Luna Lovegood paper doll and it's made by a company called Ardently Crafted and I got it at GeekyCon a while while back. She has a little quibbler and everything. So cute. Over here we have a photo of me with my friend Amy and there's another magazine clipping of some cute plushies I love. And over here I actually have a tiny version of my thread organizer but it has just some pearl cotton on it. This is a tiny felt Weasley sweater that a fan made and sent to me that has my initial on it and I am totally in love with it. And here are some little bits and pieces, some cards I've received and other things that make me smile. This section isn't in the frame very often, but I wanted to have them up here anyway. Up here, I have a floating shelf with some cute things on it, and you don't really see this in very many of my backgrounds. It depends on how zoomed out I am, but I figured I'd decorate it just in case you can see it sometimes, and all the stuff on here makes me super happy. This is a tiny polymer clay monster made by Beastlies that I'm obsessed with, and this is a fox plushie that I actually made using a pattern and a kit from a company called Thread Follower that I think is amazing. Over here, there's a little felt plant 
plant that I made for HGTV Handmade. And back there is something that Haley G. Hoover made for me the, after the first year that we did Five Awesome Girls. I was Tuesday on that channel, and so I keep it displayed. It makes me really happy. I pile some pretty notebooks back here, and I do use them. I just pull them down when I need them. There's a little solar-powered plant. It's not moving right now because there's no sunshine in here. And this cloud and raindrop plush were made for me by a fan, and I thought that they were so cute and really on brand, so I wanted to put them in the background. I hope this little look into my video background and the thought behind it was helpful or interesting to you. If you make YouTube videos, what do you put in your background? I'd love to hear all about it in the comments below. I hope you're having a really great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.